Hey guys, this is part two of how to draw a ninetail fox cloak. Uh, when I logged off yesterday or last video, um, because this is being made the same day, I realized I'd forgotten the ears. <laughs> I'd forgotten how to show you guys how to draw the ears. Basically, the ears are of a massive chakra as well. Uh, you want to draw them relatively close to your character's ears, relatively close to the same spot. Um, and you want to make it as if they started right about where, right about like an inch above the brow of your character's head. About an inch above the eyes. Um, and then you want to trace upward in a swerving or curved motion. Either way is fine because in this show the chakra does swerve and curl around a lot so the ears would actually end up being curved in some way. Sometimes they could be like that. Sometimes they could even uh, be just straight like that. Sometimes they're even like that. The ears have many forms in the show. They can take any kind of form. Anyway, um, what I left off yesterday I left off at the forearms, or the uh, hands, which actually are much more difficult to draw. Now, for the hands, you actually want to be able to simulate the knuckles of a nine tails by point. The way they would look in the shell. The way they do look in the shell. And actually It will not show up under over the black of my drawing, but ah, I hurt. I bit my tongue. <laughs> Sorry about that, guys. Um, but that is those are the fingers right there with the cloak. Next is the thumb. Relatively easy. And then you simply continue with the cloak. It's the same on the other side. Exact same thing. No difference. Unless you have a different shape to the hand, there's no difference whatsoever. Now, the part beyond the hardest part being the getting the knuckles correctly or getting the hair correctly. For, honestly, for me, the hair is a lot harder than the knuckles. But for me, what is also difficult is focusing correctly on the hair because. If you have strands hanging down like this, you also need to give them their own cloak. 
I always seem to forget to do this. This is always the part I forget about doing. And so, that's why it is one of the most difficult parts. Because, not only is it hard to match the length of what the cloak should be, it can also be hard just to get a cloak around there at all. Especially if you've colored stuff in by now. That is the cloak that goes around the hair strands if you have any hanging down. Now, another difficult part for me would be the tails. Yes, the tails. I know the legs look a lot shorter to you guys, but really they are much longer than that, about double that length. This whole picture is probably double the length it looks. Now, for the tails, you want to imagine a dot right there. That's where you start. It's easier to do even numbers of tails than it is to do odd. Because odd numbers of tails, it's always a tail that's in the middle going up that way. The other tails go out this way and that way. The one in the middle goes up that way. Which is why it's harder to do all nine tails than it is to do eight. But the hardest part about the tails is getting the shape right. Now you can draw cloak over cloak because the cloak is opaque, is um not opaque, um translucent. It is very see-through. So you can draw cloak over cloak, pieces of the cloak over itself. It's always difficult to get the shape of the tails right. My bad, you can't even see. <laughs> Sorry about that, people. Usually my signature for the number of tails is 2 to 3, sometimes 4 or 5. But I hardly ever do more than 6 tails. Now most people think, oh hey, I can do as many tails as I want, there's only one 9 tails version. There's not. Really, there is two versions of the of any tail beast cloak. There's a version one state where the cloak is translucent and there is a version two state where it is not where you will actually t where the character you're drawing the cloak around actually will take the form of that tailed beast. For that, it's a totally different story. That I'll do in my next video. I am five seconds away from running out of time. Later, the Super Tom 25, out.